think there are certain like safe places to be for earth changes happening? Hmm. We only have two minutes left. Uh, uh, well, earth changes, uh, whew, uh, depends on the level of earth changes, but no, there's no safe place. Uh, you know, if, if the world, if the culture is destroyed, if the world is destroyed, if the infrastructure is destroyed, you know, even if you, you know, survive it, the actual events, uh, you can't escape it. It's going to affect your lives in a very dramatic way. Uh, you, know, you know, like uh, the, the, the earth has to, the earth has to go through changes. Um, it's, it's how it maintains its magnetosphere. If we didn't have our magnetosphere, this powerful magnetic force that surrounds our planet to stop the solar rays from coming in, uh, we would be destroyed, uh, you know, just burned up, you know. So uh, the earth has to, peer, you know, it loses its magnetic field you know, by being ripped at all the time by solar, the solar sun. So to do this, it shifts its, its poles. And when, it, when you shift its poles, all the continents have to kind of like, uh, you know, kind of like crack their neck and stuff. And when that happens, uh, they're, you know, just like, you know, when you crack your neck and move your body, you feel this electrical current going through your body. It's the same thing with the planet. There's an, there's an enlivening of, of the world that happens. There's a there's an enlivening of the magnetosphere that, that, that takes place with earth changes and it's periodically necessary. So, uh, you know, I understand we're in for a good ride here. So, uh, and, and it's through, you know, perhaps we can enliven, it's my hope that, that we can use these ge geometries, use these strings to enliven the, uh, the, the magnetosphere of the planet to, to uh, help it through its earth changes. So, uh, thank you.